Hi everybody, it's me, Emily. Today I'm going to be working on my island entrance. I've just started a new kid called Island and right now I only have one build so I really wanted to work on the entrance today so that when people come to visit my island, even if the rest of it isn't yet completed, they will have something interesting to look at when they visit. Please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and don't forget to leave me a like and a comment on this video if you did enjoy it. So just to begin with, I'm opening up the island designer because something that I know I want to put on my entrance is a land bridge. I've seen lots and lots of people do this. I know it's quite a common idea, especially when it comes to kid court islands. I think they are just so cute and interesting. So the first thing which I worked on was trying to work out where I would place my ledge because I knew that I wanted to make sure I would have plenty of space to walk on when we first arrived at my island. You will see at the moment my nook's cranny is kind of positioned back here which means I'm limited for space in how big I was able to make that block of cliffs but eventually I will be moving Nook's Cranny as soon as I get the chance which should hopefully make this all a little bit easier and so I'm just going to start to lay down a pathing out here to see how big I want it to be and I ended up deciding that two tiles long was perfect and then I started to work with some different tiles and just kind of placing them down I started out with this plain grey tile which I just spread all across the path. This is probably going to be part of my main pathing on my island. It's very simple and easy to use. And then what I want to do is sprinkle other designs through my pathing so that it will be more interesting to look at. And so you can see I have quite a few different custom designs saved to work with. I have some just plain colourful tiles as well as some more interesting shapes and designs like those flowers and a cow and just lots of different cute things. So once I'd finished spreading out all of those grey tiles, I came in with these colourful blocks, but the issue is that these ones kind of fell off of the edge of the path, whereas those plain grey tiles, they cling to the edge. It's just to do with whether or not your path thing has a transparent tile on it. So I did end up going with these kind of 4x4 blocks of colour and I think this worked really well. As I say, these are super colourful designs. If you ever need any custom designs, just leave me a comment letting me know which ones you're looking for and I'll make sure to leave a creator code so that you can download these yourself. Once I have all of my slots filled in, I will make one kind of cohesive list so that it's also really easy to find any of the custom designs which I have used on my island. I decided to actually shorten my cliff backwards by one just so that I would have a bit of extra space. And then I started to kind of look at where I could get this incline to go. I chose the blue steel staircase just because I find this easiest to work with at the moment, it's something I've seen most Kiko Islands tend to go with a blue steel. I think that's just because it's so colourful and so it matches really well with this theme that I am currently working on. And of course Tom Nook, this was the very first incline which I placed so he gave me a phone call. And I need to pay this off, 228,000 bells such a lot. I'm definitely going to need to start collecting more money before I will be able to finish my whole island, but that's okay. I think what I'm going to do is probably jump onto the next day so that I'm able to see where exactly I needed to kind of work with. I think that will make it easier because right now it's a bit awkward because Lloyd is stood right there, which I find makes it harder to decorate from. So here we go. I'm now onto the next day. As you can see, I only have this tiny stump of pathing made, but as I kind of mentioned, once Nook's Cranny has been moved, I will be building this right back along my island. And this I really like as well, because it will mean that you kind of get led away from my main resident services area, so you'll have more interesting things to look at. Here, I was just starting to experiment with some of the different options I had for pathing, starting out with these planks, there's only two colours of these, 
so the orange and blue and then the pink and the yellow and so I just made these in little lines across and here is how it looked all filled in the reason why I decided not to stick with this is because I didn't like the way there were tiny gaps in between each of those planks I felt like that didn't look quite as good so what I then did was come in with these really really colourful tiles and I just spread these out and once I had this all filled in I thought that was a much better option I really liked how that looked and so I completed this by adding some steel fencing across because it would be such a shame if anybody would fall off of a bridge whilst they were trying to run of course that can't actually happen in the game which is a shame because sometimes your villagers will get on your nerves but other than that it's fine I like placing the staircasing there I thought it worked really well and the fences just kind of make it feel nice and enclosed here I just started out by laying a brick of this brown path but I actually changed my mind I had wanted to use sand originally but I decided to instead place down this orange custom design which I think looks absolutely adorable. It's really huge and it just looks so colourful and it makes the island seem really inviting which is perfect for an entrance. Right there I'm just laying out a spot where I would like to place a tree. I think orange tree is probably going to be the best idea seeing as though I now have the orange custom design. And then I started out experimenting with this nine tile path, but I will say I kind of, as soon as I did it, I didn't like how it looked. There's nothing wrong with it. I think maybe just because that pathing is so focused on the primary colors, maybe when my island has lots of non-primary colors on it, it was making it look a bit awkward. Like there's orange right there, there's purple. So I felt like just a red, yellow and blue path didn't look quite right. So now I did find a way to incorporate that sand pathing and I did this just by creating little blocks of colour along here which I'm going to use as specific places to decorate so that I have kind of designated areas. I'm coming through and just sprinkling some of these smaller pathing pieces just to give me a base to work on. I really like those paint tiles, I think it's so sweet, it makes it look as if a villager has been sat on that place, maybe making some art or doing drawings, and there's just paint, paint splatters everywhere. You'll see, something that I really like to do when I am building is to lay out all my different furnitures that I'd like to use. It just makes it really quick and easy when I need to grab something to work with. And so I just thought I'd include this so you can see which type of items I thought were appropriate. This way if you're trying to make your own Kikot Island you can take some of those furniture items as inspiration and hopefully that will help you figure out what you might like to do. I think the public bench worked really well. Here I actually went ahead and removed this sand pathing because I felt like it was looking weird with a public bench on too but then I actually did decide to place it back down just so that I would have more space to decorate. Because I'm still really getting used to the Kiko aesthetic, there are lots of parts in this video where I was just a bit stuck with what to do, but I think one of the best tips I can give you for Kiko designing, as well as just any type of build you might be wanting to do, is sometimes you just have to place things down and just move on, not everything has to be perfect. It looks normally better than what you think if you build an area and you're not quite happy with it. Normally if you just leave it alone for a couple of minutes then when you come back it looks a lot better than what you actually remembered because those tiny details where maybe something isn't quite centred, all of those little pieces tend to just kind of get pushed away. So right here I now have the mountain bike and then this drinks machine. I think this is perfect for the entrance because you can picture someone arriving, maybe they rode on their bike up here. I'm just going to eat a cherry so that I can grab that orange tree that I wanted to use. There we go. 
And then I had actually placed down a block of that brown parting because I thought it would peek out from underneath, which I thought would give more of a city vibe to this build, but the brown tile actually didn't show through. I'm placing down a puddle here, and then probably my favourite thing that I put in this entire build is that fire flower. I think it looks so cute. All of the new Mario items are really, really awesome for kid core, as well as I've seen lots of different islands you use them. And I will say I don't intend to do kid core all over my entire island. For those of you who don't know, kid core is an aesthetic that kind of focuses on that feeling of nostalgia or things that you might have seen when you were a child. And it uses a lot of bright colours to create a really interesting look. But I don't intend to make every single build kid core. I would like a couple of more natural areas just because I think that will make it more interesting to run around my island but not every moment is completely filled with colour. And then I created this pathing of flowers that lead up towards the fire flower which I think looks perfect. So now I will work on the other side of my entrance. Just need to quickly pick up some more items. I definitely want to incorporate some more of those new Mario items. Right here you are going to see me customise a large mushroom platform into green. I just felt like green would have worked a bit better. And then here you have to ignore what I do. I customised that small mushroom platform into pink but that was really just a waste of a customization kit because in a minute I'm gonna turn it back to yellow. I don't know what I was thinking but that's just how I decided to do it. I just changed my mind from the pink suddenly. So what I'm going to do is just start out with some of this sand pathing. Just get some of it placed down. I originally thought about using the flowers coming sideways so I created another line of pathing but then here I am adding in some of this sand <laughs> that was a glitch in my video oh well there I go I placed down the small mushroom platform and then I had to fiddle around with some tiles trying to work out what looked best as I say because I'm quite new to this aesthetic it was kind of tricky for me in this build to get used to what I should be doing and how to make it all look right but I think as I went I got more confident with what I was doing I wanted to use another orange tree on this other side and I also wanted to use some orange flowers to kind of bring that orange colour because I think it is so pretty and because I've used that orange custom design as really the centrepiece to this build I just figured it would work well to have lots of oranges going on so that it would all tie together more cohesively. I decided to use that super mushroom on top and because pink and red kind of clash or they just don't blend as well together in my opinion this is why I did decide to turn that small mushroom platform back to yellow because yellow and red look really lovely together they just make the other colour kind of pop and I just think it works really well to be super bright and interesting and then I'm just using that pink jelly again to fill in. So I think that is it. Let me do a walkthrough of this area to kind of give a sense of a finished product. We can come down here and buy a drink from the machine, maybe take a sip, maybe borrow that bike and go for a ride around our island. Come up, see that cute super mushroom 
and then head along this land bridge which I will be extending later but for now we just have this little piece I am so so pleased with how this build turned out even though I had some struggles just trying to get it perfect I think it turned out really sweet and I'm so excited to have a Kiko entrance now I think it looks very exciting and inviting for anybody who would be visiting Thank you all so much for watching, if you did enjoy this video please leave me a like and a comment and consider subscribing so that you won't miss my next video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time, bye!